Welcome back everyone in studio. Now we have Jessica with Guyla Screen. And Jessica, the first time we talked to you was for your personal care mm -hmm. lineup that you had, which was fantastic. But since then, you've added some clay art pieces. So yes. let's talk about how that all happened and what this is. So I started doing polymer clay. I, I've always loved working with this as a medium, but I started when I went to an event that was lemonade themed in St. Cloud. Uh, so I made little lemons and marshmallows, oh, and so just a handful, just a handful, and they were a hit. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep making more characters, and it's just growing and growing and growing, and they're so eye-catching. It's mm -hmm. so fun to have them at my table, because I have my personal care products, but I have these two, so there's kind of something for everyone, yeah. Yeah. and they're just cute, and kids see them, their eyes mm -hmm. light up, they get really excited, and they want to see them all, they want to touch them all, and, and adults too, like everybody loves them. I yeah. love them too, and it makes me so happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you do earrings and also keychains, yes. um, necklaces too. Yep, yep, and I could do anything, and I, I do take commissions, I'm behind on commissions now, but I could do any sort, bracelet mm -hmm. charms, just whatever, get creative, or even just little figures if that's what somebody wanted. And polymer clay is something that people can actually do yes. at home too if they want. Yes. You brought some things to sort of demonstrate. I did, yeah. yeah. This is awesome because you can bake it in the oven, it stays soft at room temperature, it's a really great medium. So I have this little bumblebee so here. Cute. <laughs> so, so cute. like for detailing, I, I have various stages. It starts mm -hmm. with a little yellow oval shape, um, make some black snakes, um, and then I like to use just these little little tools. And so to get that texture, I will just go like that. Oh, okay. just the little details. Yes, it is. And it's so fun and it's just, it's neat. So both sides and I will be starting classes oh, okay. for my polymer clay um, at the Makerspace. Oh, cool. At the end of July will be my first class. Okay. So um, I'm really excited to teach people. Um, but even more fine detail, I'm just going to throw some eyes and a little tiny mouth on here if you okay. guys want to see. Yeah, so, sure. You use the tools, but also your hands. And right. it's kind of like, it's kind of like painting with solid paint. <laughs> and it's, because you can really. Oh, there's no do way anything I can. Anything, I yeah. know. Okay, so. Would have one eye and <laughs> noses. But you know, that's it. it it's, it's such a forgiving medium. I know it's tough when you have different colors, but you can always like, make something swirly and you know. Well, it could be a great hobby for really anybody of any age. It, like, mm -hmm. it kids is. Kids could do this and on, on, on up to adults. Yeah. So and your classes will be interesting. Are they, they open will. to all ages? So I'm starting with kids class okay. at the end of July and then I'll be scheduling some adult classes for evenings at the Makerspace. So you just buy the different colored um, clay that you want and I you don't do. have to paint it or anything? No, well I do paint some of my pieces because like I make these mushrooms mm -hmm. here, and I make those out of white clay, and then I paint them after, because when you work with white and then a bright color, I would have little pink fingerprints all over oh this. Sure. And it's just nice, because then I can get more creative, but the whites of their eyes are all painted on, and then oh, I glaze wow. them, and they're just cute, so. <laughs> yeah, so once you shape them and do this detail, then you bake them. Yep, I, yeah. I stick the little metal fixtures in them, I bake them in the oven, I super glue in the fixtures, and so, they have more durability. Um, and then I just fix them onto charms, mm -hmm. keychains, whatever. And people who have seen me at my booth, I always tell them, I can swap these out if you want. It's just nice, because they are all different. They're all individuals, and you can have them any way that you want them. And they're just so fun. Yeah, so <laughs> much fun. Well, thanks so much for being yes, here today. Thank you for having me. And we'll have more when we come back on Cato Living.